Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for like a minute now, like a couple weeks, more than a minute. But I'm back now and I'm ready to make my videos again. I, the reason why I was missing for a couple of weeks was because, I'm not sure if I said this before my channel, but I do have eczema and for a couple of weeks I've been having this rash on my face like I wasn't sure what it was because I went to the dermatologist about it and I started to get eczema on my face especially around like around my eyes on my eyelids and as you can see some on my neck I never had it in these areas before so I was like kind of freaking out when you wear makeup and like certain things start happening to your skin you start to freak out like when I was putting on my makeup like it was not coming out right my skin was very peely my face was like shipping and so like it was just not a good look and I didn't want to come on camera doing my makeup and my skin looked like that so I took a break a little break from doing my makeup and I went to dermatologist and you know I got it taken care of so now I'm okay my skin is perfectly fine and I'm ready to go back to doing my videos for you guys some of the products that I used today from e.l.f. that I really enjoyed using and I really liked was their 3-in-1 mascara and it's these e.l.f. 3-in-1 um, precision sponges but they're, like, they're so soft and very good to use to blend out your foundation. Instead of spending $20, you can spend $12 and get three. They do come in a set of three and these are the other two. This is like a mini one. A mini one, like a medium sized one. And they do expand when they get wet. So they're very, they're a little bit harder. Not, They're not hard, but they're just like, the beauty blender may be a little bit more squishy. I had one, but it ripped, and your girl ain't about to buy another one for no twenty dollars. So, yeah, I tried the Elf ones, and they're very good, and I do like them. I also love that they come in a set of three, so you can use one for your all over your face, one for your concealer, and like one to like blend out like little tiny things you can't really get to. And also, I love the um, contouring. I mean, I'm sorry, correcting stick. And this is the Elf Correcting Stick. It's very good. Like, this is a good corrector for your face. The other things that I used in the video, if I did not mention it, that means I wasn't really a big fan of it. But it did get the job done, so that was okay. With all that said, let's get into this tutorial on this one brand makeup. First off, I'm going to start with this Elf Lock Online Brow Gel. And I'm using the shade Medium. It may look a little too light, but the other shades were too dark, so I went with the medium. This is a new product from ELF, I believe. Well, it's been here for a while, but I feel like when I'm using it, it was kind of drying. It's not as creamy as my favorite AVH lip brow, but for $4, you cannot beat that. So I'm just going to fill in the tail of my brow, and once you get to from the tail to the center, like towards the middle, you just want to do light strokes going upwards. And this is to give your brows a more natural look. If you go a little bit too light, you can always go back in with this fully end of your brush and blend it out so that it can look a little less, like faded, more natural looking. And I'm so sorry, I was really trying to like the e.l.f. concealer, but there was none that I really liked. So I'm just going to go in with my Elegra Pro Concealer and it's in an empty MAC um, jar that I have. I just deposited it into here and basically I just cut my Elegra tube and squeezed out what was left into this jar so that I can still use what was left and I wouldn't waste any product. So that's why it's in this um, MAC container, it's the old MAC Studio Sculpting Concealer. And the brush that I'm going to be using to clean up the brows is from e.l.f. and it's there. Elf Aligner Brush. I had this brush for many years and it's a very good brush to clean up your brows with. Whenever I don't do my makeup for like a while and I go back to it, like I, it just shows me how much I love makeup. Like how it's like I'm falling in love with doing makeup all over again every time I do my makeup. So now I'm going to just clean up my brow, the top of my brow is using this e.l.f. foundation palette, the medium deep to deep one. Um, I don't really like going on top with the highlight shade that I use on the lower part because 
it doesn't look right so I'm just going to use this and clean the top of my brows. So far I do like this brow gel, I thought it was going to be too light but it's not. It gets the job done and for a cheaper price, I mean hey. To blend the concealer I will be using this brush to blend and buff the concealer. And then I'm going to be going over my brows with a brow gel. Um, the brow gel I'm going to use is not from e.l.f. but you can use any brow gel that you one elf does have a, have a brow gel and it's really good it's like two dollars and i had it before but i ran out of it so i this is what i have now and then this is what i have i was really trying to use all elf palettes something i just could not but you can just use whatever brow gel you have applying brow gel over your brows really helps to keep your hairs in place and having your brows your brows looking really nice for the eyes, I will be using this e.l.f. Necessary Nudes palette. It comes with your basic shades for a neutral eye and an eyeshadow base like to cover your, um, your eyelids with and a highlight shade. But the highlight shade is too light for me so I didn't use it at all. But it's a really good palette just for your neutral eyes, everyday looks. And for primer, I'm going to be using this um, e.l.f. Shadow Locked Eyeshadow on the to eyes to base my lid. And I'm going to be using also this big eyeshadow Enchanted, which I got to use as a highlight, but I'm also going to use it on my eyelids. First, you're going to just apply your primer and blend it all over your eyes, and then use the eyeshadow base from that palette to set that. To start off the eye look, I'm going to be using this Elf Tux and Caicos Contouring Palette and I'm going to take the contouring shade and use that as my transition color because there wasn't a transition shade that was fitting for my skin tone in the palette so I decided to use the contour shade and use that as a transition shade in my for my eyes. In the crease, I'll be using this brown shade from the palette. And this brush that I'm using is also from e.l.f. It's their um, crease brush. So I'm just going to use that brush and going back and forth and just blend that brown shade in my crease. For my lids, in order for the eyeshadow, the big shadow to show up more pigmented, I'm going to just clean up my lids with some concealer, the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm just going to apply that cleaning up all over my lid so that the color can go on top and it will be well pigmented and well shown. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Flat Shadow Brush and apply the shimmer shade from the palette on the outer part and then towards the middle, towards the in, inner part, inner, towards the center of my eye, I'm going to apply the baked eyeshadow with my fingers patting it on with my fingers. It works better with your fingers. Then I'm going to go back in with that same elf crease brush and just blend it into my crease. You want to make sure you blend everything seamlessly. Then also I'm going to go back in with the transition shade and also blend that in as well so everything is blended. Then I'm going to be taking this elf brightening eyeliner in black and lining my waterline. Next, I'm going to be priming my face, and I'm going to be priming my face today with the e.l.f. Illuminating Face Primer. And when I say illuminating, I mean your skin will be glowing, like shimmer. Like you can see on my hand as I rub it in, how glowy that looks on my hand. It was very smooth, and I really like that about this primer. As you can see, it's very smooth like I'm just in love with how smooth it is and it's also very shimmery like it really gives your skin the glow that it needs so I'm just gonna apply this and rub that into my skin and as I'm rubbing it into my skin you're gonna start to see how glowy it looks like my skin starts to glow immediately from just applying it so I really think that was really good and my skin was very smooth like you could tell that the foundation will be evenly blended onto my skin based, based upon how the primer felt Next up is to color correct and I don't really have a lot of dark spots but just mostly are under my eyes and around my mouth 
and like a few spots here and there so I'm just gonna co correct with this elf correcting stick and I really loved this correcting stick it was really good quality and it really really covered my dark spots and I really like it I think I found a new corrector that is comparable to the LA girl orange corrector and I believe this is one of their new products most of these spots I have you see is from the eczema and like little breakouts little bumps here and there but it's not really say I have acne I don't have acne problems it's just my eczema that's my problem and I'm just gonna take this flat um, concealer brush and just blend that in and I really liked how it did not show through the foundation it was very easy to cover even though the foundation was like you'll see that's another story for foundation I'm gonna be using this elf foundation palette in medium dark it comes with four different shades that you can use as foundation I'm going to use this shade right here all over my face and I'm going to be using the ultimate blending brush from elf and I'm going to use that to blend that in as I was blending and I started to notice that it was very greasy like the feeling of the foundation was very cakey and like very super greased up like I was really trying to like it as I was blending on I just wasn't like it at all I even tried using a different shade seeing if that would be better but it was kind of red for too red for me so I didn't bother to stick to the shade I was using and even trying to get it out of that little area was very difficult like it was just so difficult to use this foundation I was not liking it at all but I still was able to make it work It was just a major fail. The foundation was just slipping and sliding all over my face and it wasn't even covering much. It was not covering at all. Like I could still see my skin peeking through. It looked like more of a BB cream than a foundation to me. And it was super greasy, but I just used it. And then on top of that, since I didn't have a concealer, I thought, oh hey, maybe let me try this as a concealer and use it. But from the looks of it, I really noticed that it wasn't going to work, but I was already using it, so I just made it work. and. I used the lighter shade in the palette to apply as concealer in the areas to use as a basically to highlight at the, where I would put my concealer that's where I put the lighter shade but it was just not the best foundation. Yeah but I don't know what you guys think for e.l.f. but this one is not, this needs work, this foundation palette is not the best at all but it still got the job done so that's all that matters I guess even blending it out I had to like really like pat it instead of rubbing it because I noticed when you rub it it was slipping and sliding all over the place due to how greasy it was to blend in all of this concealer I'll be using the elf precision sponges and they come in a set of threes and I think I found my beauty blender dupe like it was really great and to use these you want to make sure you wet them damp before apply blending them out for a better application I'm just going to take my damp sponge and blend out that foundation that I use as concealer and I really like this sponge it was very easy to blend out the product with it and it was very soft and bouncy it was very easy to blend out I, mean, I really like this sponge I think I found another sponge I really like once everything is blended you're going to want to set that with a powder and I'm going to be using the airspun loose face powder to set all those areas you can use whatever powder you want I didn't want to use the elf one because it was too white and I was scared to use it because of flashback so I just used what I normally use and this brush to set that all over my face This is the e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder and I'm going to use that to set the rest of my face and wipe it in excess powder. As I was using this to set my face, I started to notice that it was coming off patchy and it was not covering much. It was a light coverage, but it still covered, but it just was patchy and I think it's because of the foundation. If you don't have a good, a good foundation, if it's not blending properly, that can cause it to be patchy.
Yeah, so that foundation palette is canceled and I would not recommend this foundation palette to anyone. Maybe this is a for bad first try, I don't know. Going back to the eyes, I'm gonna do my lower lash line. I'm just gonna go in with that brown shade from that same Necessary Needs palette and just use this liner brush and line under, basically smoke it out under my lower lash line. And also go in with the contour shade and smoke that out under as well, mixing the two together basically, blending it for a smoky look. For mascara, I'm going to be using the L3 in 1 mascara. And what really made me buy this uh, mascara was because of the wand. How the shape of the wand is, you can really tell that it's going to coat your lashes very well and really get them nice and full. That's the reason why I really bought this mascara and I really got it because it's very good. And it's one of their new formula mascaras and Elf, you did a good job on this one. I really like this mascara. And for lashes, I'm going to be using these AliExpress lash lashes. They're like fake mink lashes. And they're like a $1 something. I got them off of AliExpress. And as I said before, I really like AliExpress lashes. They're very affordable. They just take really long to come. But, you know, it's all worth it in the end because you have these lashes. So, yeah, I'm going to be applying these off camera. And I'll be back once they are on. This is the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer Palette and it's in Turk and Caicos and as you can see I put pan on these because I use this a lot. It's one of my favorite um, contour powders from e.l.f. and I just had to go with a powder contour being the fact that that foundation had is horrible and I didn't want to go ahead and contour with that and the shades are too orange for me and it wasn't my perfect contour shade so I didn't bother to do that and I just had to go with a powder instead. side and use it as a blush to apply on my cheeks and I use the same brush and applied it as a blush. Also I did use it to contour my nose as well. Now it's time for highlight, my favorite part. As I mentioned before I talked about this um, baked eyeshadow Enchanted. I'm going to be using that as my highlight and I'm just going to be applying that to my cheekbone, my keep this going anywhere that I always highlight. If you watch my other videos you know already where I always highlight. And a good way to use this uh, highlight to make it show and be more pigmented, you want to scrape off the top layer before going in with your brush and don't forget to spray it with some setting spray. I also put some on my brow bone and then I'm going to be setting my face with this setting spray. For the lips, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. lip palette, the Miss Amores Iris Baleen collaboration lip palette. And this lip palette was very moisturizing. I really thought it was going to be sticky but it was not at all. It was super moisturizing and comfortable on the lips and I wanted to support her so I really wanted to get this one. I, there was other ones I want, could have got but I wanted to get this one. So I'm just going to line my lips with a lip liner, brown lip liner. You can use any lip liner of your choice but I want to go with this one for, to match the color I was going to be doing which is a nude from the palette. I wasn't really a big fan of the brush that came it came with, but it was okay, it worked. And I'm gonna be taking the nude shade right here in the palette and mixing those two together. Keep in mind that these are glosses, so throughout the day you will have to reapply once you eat or anything like that and it comes off. But I don't have a problem with that. It's very small and compact, easy to carry anyway. But I'm just going to apply that all over my lips and blending it in. This is the finished look. One brand, full face using all of cosmetics. I really enjoyed doing this video. I hope that you guys did as well. I am definitely back. I really do enjoy making videos. Especially beauty videos because I just love doing makeup and trying out different products and different things. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
And also in the comments down below, let me know what are some of your favorite ELF products. I would love to know if I can give them a try. There were definitely some hidden misses, in it, but I know ELF does have some really great products. So if you like these type of videos, let me know and leave a comment down below what are your favorite ELF products. And um, yeah, if you want to see more videos, subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.